Well, there's one name that's become quite famous in all of this. Chris Smalls worked at an Amazon fulfillment center on New York's Staten Island. He was let go after he led a group of colleagues who cried foul on Amazon's safety standards on their lunch hour. That was after several of his colleagues became sick. Smalls has united with other companies for May Day protests to call for better protections for frontline workers. And here to give us more details on his efforts, Chris joins us now live from New Jersey. Chris, a lot of consumers like myself have bought into the convenience of Amazon and many others have used it even more during this pandemic. Are your demands realistic relative to keeping the company open given how critical these deliveries are for many families who are on lockdown at home? Yeah, absolutely. We got to think about what we're dealing with right now. It's a life or death situation. It's something we never dealt with before. It's unprecedented at this time. Um, what I stood up for is the protection of uh, the communities and our families. Um, if we're sick and we're carriers of this virus, we are delivering this to your doorstep. Um, we're not essential if we're doing that. Um, so what I stood up for is for us to save humanity. Um, there's 600,000 employees nationwide, um, 800,000 employees worldwide. Um, God forbid we're carriers of COVID-19. Um, we could be asymptomatic. This virus spreads to two and a half people. The type of operation that we do, um, the virus does live on cardboard for a number of days. So imagine uh, being a customer, a consumer, um, having this delivered to your doorstep. Do you have a message for consumers in all of this? Uh, we talk a lot about the dependence that consumers have right now on Amazon, particularly with the, with the closure of a lot of different stores, everybody needing basic necessities. Is there a, a message for Amazon customers out there? Yeah, we, um, you know, Amazon's a fairly new company. It evolved into what it is today. Um, it wasn't always around. When I grew up as a kid, I went to the grocery stores. The grocery stores are still here. The mom and pop stores are still here in our communities. Uh, we can support them. Um, I understand there's a lot of senior citizens and elderly that may uh, need uh, things delivered to them, but there's still other um, op options out there that still exist. Um, why do we have to give it to a company that doesn't care about their employees or their health or their well-being? Um, support those that do. Um, there's other ways to give essential items to um, people that are disabled or elder. So, um, I would have no problem volunteering my services if I was paid um, on leave. Um, but this company don't offer that option. They offer us unpaid time. Um, they, they didn't uh, protect us with no PPE during the entire month of March. And now you have hundreds of people that contracted this virus with this workforce and even people that have passed away. That's a shame that we have people that have died just by going to work. Um, so what I say to a consumer, the way you can support us, um, stop supporting these companies until they protect their employees. We're doing this for the communities and our families. Chris, there was an internal memo that was circulated, uh, published by Vice News, that said that apparently they were happy to let you be the face of this, that you're neither smart nor articulate. And a month later, you are still out there protesting. Is there anything that you want to say to that PR team? Well, yeah, they wanted to make me the face of the whole union organization. And uh, guess what? Here I am today. Um, that's exactly what I'm doing. And um, it's kind of ironic. But uh, as far as the the nature of that contact, that conversation is uh, it's very disgraceful, distasteful, uh, it's shameful of how they disregarded their employees' health and well-being to try to focus on me um, and only me. And it's only because I'm speaking the truth. But it's never going to be Amazon versus Chris Smalls. It's going to be Amazon versus the people. And today was a display of that. Um, we all came together in solidarity, and um, we're going to continue to mobilize until our demands are met. Chris Smalls, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.